Sydney's newest students walked into classrooms for the very first time this morning with kindergarten back in session. But parents saying goodbye were kept out as COVID safe measures shape the new school year. In Samuel Sarantarkos's short five years, today was one of the biggest moments of his little life. I'm excited to go to school today. The brand new morning routine still a work in progress. Uniform, check, bag packed, almost. Shoes on. A little bit nervous. Out the door and... It's time to go. Through the gates at St Monica's Primary in North Parramatta. Let's go. Good boy. Bye, Sammy. He's one of 70,000 children starting kindergarten this week <laughs> with plenty of excitement and a few first day jitters. I've been looking forward to big school, but I think now, <laughs> now it's happening. Yes, I think I'm very teary eyed. <laughs> it's my first day of school. I'm really excited. COVID-19 keeping parents out of the classroom and requiring all school visitors to check in with QR codes. While parents of most year groups are being discouraged from entering the school grounds because of COVID safe measures, those of year sevens and kindergartens are being given a few weeks leeway to help them settle in. A day of first two at Penshurst Public School. Students there walking into 44 brand new classrooms. Are you happy with your classroom? Yeah. It's one of 10 new or upgraded schools which open today across the state, including Catherine Field and Schofields, and upgrades to three in Glenfield and one in Marsfield. We are midway through our record investment in school infrastructure. We are seeing builds right across the state. But some say that record investment still won't cut it. What we have failed to see from the government is adequate planning when we expect over the next 15 years a 20% growth in student enrolments. Planning for a future to educate every single student. Annalise Bolt, Nine News.